All right, today we got a real treat for you. This is the Boss 302 Mustang. This car is half a century old. Growing up in the 70s, it was one of the coolest cars you could see on the street. All right, let's take it for a test drive. Got the chase view first. I'm gonna switch to the in-car. The only problem I have with the in-car view is it doesn't really give you uh, the proper feel of the car. Well over 50% of the graphics is just dashboard steering wheel. And of course that's not how it feels when you're driving a car. Hood view is pretty cool. But on this vehicle the reflections actually distract me somewhat. Still, it's much better than the in-car view. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Mustang. This is my preferred way of playing. But for our purposes, I'm just going to stick to the chase view this time. As you can see, I'm uh, a little out of practice. Forza is a very difficult uh, racing game for me to play. I'm not used to it. I'm used to the arcade-ish type of games. You know, back in the day, the, the original PlayStation, PlayStation 2. Even the, uh, the Xbox 360, you know. These new racing games are much more like a simulation than they are a video game. Still in the bumping and banging for uh, phase of my learning curve here. Okay, this car handles very much like you would expect. Uh, whoops. Very much like the rest of the muscle cars do. It uh, handles like a ton of bricks, which is kind of ironic because half a century ago. Uh, this car was actually made for racing. I found that the uh, the Firebird actually handles a little bit better than this thing. It takes a little bit of getting used to. I guess what I liked about this car is it's predictable. It doesn't give you any surprises. One of the difficulties I had with Forza was I did not understand why the other cars were slowing down so much in the corners. I could uh, try and adjust the difficulty level Now I'm in open space. I'm going to try and get used to the car and I'm going to try and run as fast as I can. Uh, which is why I play racing games. I want to drive fast. I want to get really good at uh, really used to the car, used to the track. Took that one on the outside. I shouldn't have. A few laps around the track, you know, you get used to it pretty quick. Once again, the graphic detail is absolutely spectacular. These new video games, especially like the Forza series, oops, one in the dirt there. <laughs> Let me get back up to speed. Um, yeah, with these new video games, Forza in particular, I found that um, if I stare at the screen driving this race car for 10 laps, it actually, it, it gives me vertigo. It actually makes me dizzy. It draws you in that much. It was the old arcade style games. They were 
you know, you could play it when you were drunk, you know. <laughs> Not so with these. Just so you know, I do I do make use of the bumpers all the time. Yeah, I'm really impressed. I mean, this is just spectacular graphics. They did a good job with this. I mean, sometimes when I play in this game, if I look away for an instant, I actually get dizzy, you know? It's like, whoa, wait a minute. It gives you a real feeling of uh, very fast motion. Muscle cars, of course, they're not even the fastest things you can drive, nowhere near. Uh, they're certainly the funnest. They're the most nostalgic, you know? Growing up with these kinds of cars on the streets, it was, you know, kind of tempting to think that uh, the way they look, you know, that they should be extremely fast. In fact, they handle like the Titanic. All right, we're coming up on the finish line and the win. That's all, folks.